Good morning and welcome to the Connections pre-show. My name is Layla. And I'm Andy. And we are so grateful that you are joining us today. It is such a beautiful day out. It is. Although when I got here a little bit earlier, it was super, super foggy. Like I'm driving mm. along and then bam, fog. And I was like, oh man, it's it's creepy season and yep. foggy. I'm like, oh no, get me inside the building fast. Uh. I walked in a little <laughs> bit quicker than normal. <laughs> I d it's so weird that fog can be so scary. It is. It's those dang scary movies. It is. You know what? We didn't even say our names. What's your name? Oh. Don't we know who, who we are? I mean, it says it down there, but mine as well. I'm Andy. And I'm Leela. And thank you so much for joining <laughs> I us. I didn't even realize we didn't say our names. I know. We're so like, just, we were just ready to go. Yeah. Sometimes, a little pull back the curtain, sometimes we're like, we have like literally a minute before we have to get going, so we're all just like getting everything ready. And this time we were just sitting here and I'm like, four minutes seems like forever. Mm -hmm. And we were like, yeah. And we were also saying how we always sketch ourselves hunching forward, so we're both trying to be yeah. Much more, much better posture, but it seems like it's taking me away yeah. and my back hurts. I have really bad posture. Yeah, I do too. <sighs> I feel so much better to do that, but nope. We, oh, we got to keep each other like, keep accountable. Each other accountable. Just like, <laughs> poking each other. <laughs> anyway, I would like to direct you to our QR code. That is our quick response. That is our digital connections <laughs> card. And whether you're first time, long time, <laughs> we would love to hear from you. And again, as I always say, we will not inundate you with more than what you ask for, other than a thank you and a gift. Yes. Especially for those who are joining us for the first, yes. the second, maybe the third time. Please let us we know. We would love to hear from you. you to we need, we need to know code. that people are actually watching what we're saying and we're not just are they speaking into the ether. <laughs> you know what? I don't care because I like to sit by you and talk to you anyway. So. We talk to each other. Yeah. How was your week? It was really good. It was. Um, I've loved the weather. Uh, yeah. And uh, a couple Yesterday of days this week, nice. supposed to be like, there's one day this week supposed to be 78 degrees. Oh, it's it. like a record warm. I know. It's like... One last hurrah. But yes. I thought that that was the case a couple weeks ago. And then we keep getting these one last hurrahs. You know what? I'll keep taking as many yeah. last hurrahs as they want to give us. It gives me hope that Halloween this year, maybe it won't be snowing or raining. No. Oh, no. It's supposed to rain in the morning right now, but then in the oh, evening see, it should be nicer. I, I, I didn't want to curse it. I'm no. Like, we were actually talking about it earlier over there before church started. Okay. And I was like, for there's like a part of me sometimes, I was like, why are we even talking about the weather? It's Michigan. Four days know. later, who knows know. what could happen? It could be 80 <laughs> degrees. We always say we... We should be weathermen. Woman, yes, weather or man. people. Yeah, because you don't have to you know, get your job right. You don't have to get right. You can be wrong every day, and people are like, "Well, it's just the weather." So, do you have a joke? Mm -hmm. uh, she okay. Hmm. Uh, again, pulling back the curtain before she was just like, "I'm so excited to tell you the joke." I was like, I, "Okay." I practice it throughout the week. Ooh. Yep. And it's since I in turn sat in on the first service. I let Layla know, and I'm letting you know there's a little dad joke from Dave. Hopefully, he carries it over in the second one. And if not, I'll tell you next week what it is. It was, trust me, it's as bad as one of her normal jokes. So go ahead. Ooh, it might not be as bad as this one. All right. I'm so excited. My like fingers are is sweating. There, <laughs> is there a theme to it? Is it a Halloween theme? Is it just, nope. just a fun joke you yep, found? I just came okay. across it this week, and I was like, yes. That's it. Yes, time's okay. a million. Okay. What kind of shoes do chickens wear? What kind of shoes do chickens wear? Uh, hold on. Claw, uh, no. Crocs. No. Oh, what? <laughs> re -bop 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 -box. <laughs> <laughs> You almost didn't make it through the punchline. You started almost giggling before. My you heart were like, <laughs> is racing because I'm so excited about that punchline. <laughs> re -bop 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 -box. <laughs> bop -bop -box. <laughs> re -box. All right. You actually said it really good. You know what? Know, Both I ways work. I, I, I actually think I like the first one where you're yeah. like, re -bop 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 -box. Yeah, you know, yeah. it depends on the chicken. It your does. style. Yes. <laughs> Maybe those are two different kinds of shoes. Oh, the you're right. Box or the Reeboks. <laughs> Low tops and high tops. <laughs> Best oh, joke boy. Ever. Okay, I'll give you credit. That was a good one. You got me. And you know what? I think I, I actually like when you prep them before and don't read them because you really put yourself all into it. And yes. I can actually see you're like, it's coming. I know. Here comes the punchline. <laughs> My fingers are so sweaty. <laughs> I just <laughs> thank you for making my my morning You're by welcome. making me laugh. Appreciate it. Classic joke. Did you see any uh, movies this week? Got a no, review uh, for no, us? I don't. But what did I watch? No, this week I'll be watching a lot because it's you know because it's Halloween, Halloween, week. spooky, spooky movie seasons yeah. wrapping up. So um, no, we didn't. I didn't get a chance to watch much. I've just been. I was going through. Um, Discovery and I was uh, re I was watching some more bearing uh, bearing sea gold. Sometimes I, one, one thing one of the things I like to do is watch shows about jobs that I would never do in my life, oh. like stuff I have no interest in doing. Like you know, 
deadliest catch. Crab fishing. Yeah. I'm like, it's I'm like, I I it's so enthralling to watch, but I'm like, you couldn't pay me enough to get out there on those boats. It makes me think about that show, like Dirty Jobs. Yeah. I that's used it. to watch that too. Yeah. And I also I have known because that. that same guy does the like voiceover for all these shows mm. unfortunately and I'm not trying if he ever goes they have to just stop because oh. nobody else could fill his shoes in those oh. as the like commentator if, if like somebody else come on I'd be like guess I'm done watching this now wow I know they better like start pre-recording they episodes better. yes they better record a lot <laughs> lose the following <laughs> alright well hey guess what tonight is it's trunk or treat <laughs> we've been talking about it for weeks we've been talking about backing those trunks up oh, well tonight yes. I think we have over 40 trunks backed 40 up ready. Trunks. More than that even. Wow. Uh, we have, wow. as a church, over over thousands of pieces of candy purchased you to ca- help. You counted each one? Uh, no, Perry didn't. <laughs> um, basically, what we did is we probably looked at the bags and it says how much we spent yes. and roughly did the math. That's what I did yesterday for the, what we've bought for our trunk because the youth group is also, <laughs> uh, we are not canceling youth group, but we are using that as a way to give back to our younger youth kids mm-hmm. By all of our youth groups, various ages are going to have trunks, and yeah. we're going to do part of trunk that. or treat. And then, since we can't not turn something into a competition, we're going to then vote mm. between the youth leaders which grades had the best trunks, and then the winners get a pizza party. A pizza party. So for youth group, pizza if you party. have kids from sixth through twelfth, they can come tonight. Be here by about three thirty-ish, so we can set up those trunks. And trunk or treat is from four thirty to six thirty. Last year we had like. Over a thousand so people. There kids. was a couple hundred kids. Yeah. It was an amazing time. Yes. You get to see all the fun costumes. And it, I mean, based on the weather, it's going to yeah. be mid 50s. So it should be nice so tonight. I mean, yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to be dressed as Dan Campbell because it's super easy. I can just throw a Lions jersey or uh, hoodie. I'm not a player. Nobody would, nobody would ever be like, get that guy off the field. <laughs> He's out there whining about his knees and shoulders. He's not going to help us win today. He's hobbling. He's hobbling. <laughs> and you said that you're going to bring your kids, right? Yes, uh, my kids are very excited. Yep. Well, I mean, Zay will be at youth, yeah, the youth, be a youth group, group part. but um, Charlie will be wanting to be at youth group. He's like, can I just sit in a youth group? Yeah. I'm like, no, you have to walk yeah. around and get all your candy. Yeah, but this is a great event to invite your family or your friends, um, neighbors. Yep. This is, you know, like Andy said, lots of people come. I haven't... I think every year it gets better and yep. better. And this year is going to be the biggest yet. Yeah, and it's so fun to see all the different costumes. It is. That's like my favorite part. It is. It's really cool to be a part of a church family that does this. Yeah. And speaking of church family, I want to hear from them. So we're going to over to turn it over to Elizabeth, and she's probably got a crazy, wacky question for us this week, too. Take it over. Good morning. I'm Elizabeth, and I am so glad that you're joining us online. And I do have a wacky question for us. So we're going to go find some of our church family, and we're going to ask them a strange question. Reese, come here. What is the strangest thing that you would buy if you were given a million dollars? Oh, I don't know. Um, that's a tough question. I don't know. Man, just first thing that pops in your head. Go. Um, I still don't know. He would buy me a house, right? Sure. Yes. Okay. All right. We'll go over here. Oh, hey. I'm going to ask you my question. You will try to get away from me. <laughs> what is the strangest thing you would buy if you were given a million dollars? A muscle car. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Great answer. All right, let's keep going. We're going to go over here. Can I ask you a question? Uh, yes. <laughs> what is the strangest thing you would buy if you were given a million dollars? A it's kangaroo. A, a kangaroo? <laughs> that is the best answer you could have possibly given me. Thank you so much. All right, let's keep going. Kenna, come here. Tina, good morning. Oh Hi. Hi. What is the strangest thing you would buy if you were given a million dollars? The strangest thing that I would buy if I was giving, I'd buy a music school. Oh, that's such a good answer. Totally. Kenna, your turn. I would buy a rocket ship. A rocket ship. Wow. Thank you so much. Logan, come here. What is the strangest thing you would buy if you were given a million dollars? The entire NBA. Perfect. I think you could totally get them. All right. We're going to find a couple more people. And we're going to... Oh, well, 
Cole, talk to Jordan. Good morning. Can I ask you guys a question? You, yeah, but you know, I might not get no answer. Aw, oh, man. Okay, what is the strangest thing you would buy if you were given a million dollars? I have no clue. No clue? What about you, Jordan? I would buy a house with a gym in it. Oh, a house with a gym in it. Great answer. What would, what would you... Well, you're asking the strangest thing. Yeah. I'd probably end up giving too much of it away. Oh, wow. That's, I mean, is that really To me? Strange? Yes, yes. yes. It's not really strange, but yes. <laughs> yes. I'm going to get a million dollars. All right, we're going to ask one more person, Justin. I was talking about how bald Oh, my gosh. You were talking about how bald you are? Yeah, we're talking about like hymns. Is that what it's called? Like the hair regrowth thing? I don't really care. Um, what is the strangest thing you would buy for a million dollars? Strange. Wait. Strangest thing I would buy if I had a million dollars? My hair back. Back to you, Andy and Layla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Justin. Um, let's see. Strangest thing for me would be awesome. I would turn my basement into the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. And then as you walk through different parts of the basement, it would literally be like I'm walking through the Falcon. Because they have, you can go to Disney World and you can see it, that's there. The other thing I'd probably mm. buy would be, I would build a moat around my house or get a house with one level of your house is all water. So you have to swim from room to room. Like the basement would be, like a big pool indoor, but it's in different rooms. Gonna have to like have people sign liabilities to visit you. Nobody's gonna come visit. <laughs> it's just for me to swim it's from so room strange. to room. Everybody wants. I know. <laughs> what about you? Think of anything? I was. I I kept thinking of like practical things. So I was. I don't know. The first thing that popped in my head was like all the gold door dogs in the world. Oh, that's I'm, strange. I'm obsessed <laughs> with my dog. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so all right. Let's get all the rest of them. Let's get all the rest. Have of them. a puppy party. Puppy party. Ow. We got a party coming up with <laughs> CYM, and that's Reverb coming up November 1st through 2nd. Tickets are still available. Cost mm -hmm. is $75, but do not let that be a reason that you don't send your kid to us, to, to us, to us, to join us for Reverb. It is an amazing, life-changing event that we do every year, and every year we've had the largest group, and this year we're well on our way to having that again. Yeah. Excited about that. Yeah. Um, this is, a, again, for our CYM, which is grades 6 through 12, and if cost is an issue, please reach out to Perry. He will make sure that we get as many kids going, because again, we do not want cost to get in the way of a kid experiencing an amazing event. And how do you sign up for it? You sign up at our church website or our church app. Super easy. Go Super under the easy. events tab. Yes. Another event we have coming up, which, again, that was November 1st through 2nd, because it is an all-nighter. All and one of our youth group leaders, Adam Wolheis, also, he and his wonderful family host the new Two Connections Dinner Party, oh, which man. just happens to be November 2nd. So be hopefully, tired. Adam. Will, yeah, he. <laughs> No, Adam will be fine. He'll yeah? just, just yeah, drink he'll a just, ton of coffee. No, he'll just get home, hit a quick, a quick, you know, two-hour power yeah. nap, and then be ready to go. Oh, okay. Or he might not even nap because Adam's crazy, kind of like me. He is For crazy. some reason, reverb, you get home and you're like, I'm gonna sleep. It's gonna be a great day. And I like find myself like cleaning, doing a bunch <laughs> of stuff, and I was like, I haven't slept in 48 hours now. <laughs> Couldn't but do that. But this is at their house, which is also, like, as I said, November 2nd, um, from 6 to 8 p.m. And where do they sign up at? Again, you can sign up on our website, my3c.org, or on our church app. Both avenues, you'll want to go to the events section. Oh, man. We have another event coming up. We do. Why don't you talk about that? Because it's a ladies' event. Yeah. So we have a three-part women's event coming up. Three-part. Yeah. Not one, not two, but three. And it is a lovely harvest quest. Yeah. Quest makes me, Quest. I don't know, kind of feel like you. Like you're going on an adventure. Yeah. I'm going on an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> and this is going to be held on November 23rd. Again, you can sign up or register for this on our church app or on our website. Yep. And uh, just a little blurb here. So join us for a fun day uh, filled with uh, fellowship, a bit of an adventure. Ooh. And uh, this is open to all ladies, high school age or and or older. <laughs> high school and, yeah. <laughs> I almost... Messed that up there. 
um, we are going to have a potluck, photo scavenger hunt, and a sock gift exchange, which Ooh. we have had the sock gift, gift exchange a couple times. I always score the best socks. And then my kids steal them from me. Awesome. It makes me so mad. But cool. yes, so please sign up for okay, this. Okay, we got to go. Thank you so much. Have a great yes. week, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.